Hello Interior Alaska, Joe Cook here with your Wednesday Sports. Members of the Alaska Rifle Team wrapped up competition at the ISSF World Championships. At the end of the International Shoot Sport Federation World Championships in September, senior shooter Ryan Anderson was top American male in air rifle in three position, and junior Tim Cherry was 11th and 60 shot prone. He was 39th overall in junior air rifle and three position as well. Redshirt freshman Sagan Madalena was 33rd in air rifle, but she was the second highest ranked American woman. Junior Lorley Stanfield was fourth in prone as the U.S. placed fourth in that event for the women. Anderson and Sherry will be in Guadalajara, Mexico for the championships of the Americas October 11th through the 20th. The rest of the UF rifle team will open the 2014-2015 season this weekend against UT Martin at the EF Horton Rifle Range in the Paddy Center. Matches start Start on Saturday and Sunday at 9 a.m. It's state championship time for high school fall sports. Cross country finished last week. State football champions will be decided the next couple weeks, but this weekend are the tennis state championships. A couple of interior players have something to prove. Here's more. In this weekend state tennis tournament, some interior athletes will be playing with chips on their shoulders. West Valley's Jared Lees won the Spokane Fall Classic last weekend in Washington, and he said it's the best he's played in his life. But Lees drew the two seed in the state tournament. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed just because the, the kid who got seeded number one actually beat him this year, so I don't quite understand how that happened. But hey, I'm just going to use it as motivation, that's for sure. Well, definitely the competition in the state's a lot different this year. Um, there's a, a senior that's one of my top competition who hasn't played high school tennis yet uh, along with the freshman who's pretty good as well so um, definitely adjustment with new competition but hopefully they can do well. Defending boys doubles champion James Kardash of Lathrop has a new partner in Brett Carlson. Kardash and Alex Jordan won the title last year. Carlson and Kardash have two matches under their belt going into the tournament. This year we didn't get a seed but we got into the better half of the draw so I still think draw considered we have a good shot and I think we can do well this year. It's been pretty fun. We played like two matches together overall, um, and that's been exciting. One of them was really good, one of them wasn't. So hopefully we'll bring good energy to the court instead of negative energy. <laughs> yeah. North Pole's Dana LeMay and West Valley's Teresa Sample will start the tournament in a MAC Finals rematch. LeMay won the MAC title 6-2, 6-3 over Sample. Lydia Bierenstead and Liana Sawyer are the two seed in girls doubles for North Pole. And the MAC champion boys doubles duo in Terrell LeMay and Kevin Blanchard of North Pole will face South Anchorage's Thomas Hanks and Alex Wong. The ASAA First National Bank Tennis State Championships are in Alaska Club East in Anchorage. The tournament starts Friday and Saturday at 8 a.m. And it was the only game in town last night, and it turned out to be a very good match. Monroe and North Pole met in a non-conference volleyball game on Tuesday night. In North Pole, Monroe came in with a perfect record, perfect record, but it didn't look like they would leave with the one. The Patriots played a spirited first set, winning 30-28, to and Kenley Putnam led the Pats with 10 kills. She's only a sophomore in the home crowd. They were hyped the whole game, too. Monroe came right back in the second, taking advantage of North Pole's errors for a 25-15 win to split the first two games. North Pole, they answered, though, leading 18-9 in the third, and they win that set 25-21. Megan Smith at nine kills for the Pats. Monroe needed a win to stay alive. Kiana King, the freshman, responded, serving seven straight points for a 7-0 lead in the fourth set. She had 11 aces, and Monroe would not surrender the lead from that point on. Marissa King, her big sister, went off for 24 kills as Monroe wins the fourth set 25-8. In the fifth, they started hot again with another 7-0 lead, and they win the final set 15-7. Monroe comes back to win in five sets and increases their regular season winning streak to 11 games. When we're back here serving and we serve one out, like we get down, but like the next few serves really, really matter because serves are like I think one of your biggest things that you need to get over. They really like matter in the game. I really am proud of the girls for the first three sets and I think now they maybe know their potential and hopefully start um, playing to their potential a little more. We need to come into every game thinking that it's going to be one of our last games and our hardest games and like we need to play very strong from the beginning and finishing strong, not starting out weak and finishing strong. And finally, it was one of the best outings for Pro Football Challenge pickers. This week's Pro Football Challenge winner is Tundra Hoop. Congrats, Tundra Hoop. A lot of interesting usernames we have for these contests. You can get an oil change courtesy of Stanley Nijsan, so congrats to Tundra Hoop for getting that. 
Cassandra Hoop got 14 of 15 picks right, only missing the Detroit Buffalo game. The point standings are getting tighter after five weeks of football. True Grit 69 is holding on to a one point lead. Nate Peter 90. Jay Gonzina and D. Kacheri are second, third, and fourth. I have 43 points, but Mike Schultz, he's right on my heels with 42. So I'm going to have to pick better next week. And that'll do it for sports tonight. Thanks for rocking with me for a little while. Mike Schultz is next with your full with the forecast, and we'll catch you next time.